this is Josephine from Design by Josephine and Josie and today's video is a gardening vlog. So I have my gardening gloves on and I have my hat and my gardening outfit on today because I'm going to be doing a little bit of gardening. Um, it is really, really, really hot um, outside. It's really hot out here. <laughs> Um, of course, it is still summer and it has been raining every single day. Um, but I have decided to go ahead and do this gardening vlog and share with all of you what I have been doing in the garden, um, particularly in the rose garden and also I have these beautiful chairs here these patio chairs that my mom and I um, have put together and have recovered and so I'm gonna be sharing about the fabric and um, the other um, gardening chairs that I am gonna be uh, sharing with you that my mom and I have done so this is going to be a very lovely video um, and I'm just going to be sharing with you some gardening updates and share with you the garden what I've been doing in the garden and I'm really excited for me to share what has been going on so before I even get started I want to say if this is your first time watching one of my videos I want to say welcome and if you are into tablescapes gardening home decor and how to entertain at home you can definitely subscribe to my channel it is free and if you are a returning subscriber and you're watching one of my videos again I want to say welcome back and also I do want to mention for you to click the like button um, on this video it really helps if you click the like button so that way more people will get to see my video and YouTube can push out my video for other people to discover my YouTube channel and also leave a comment down below are you doing some gardening right now is it too hot for you to go outside <laughs> um, what kind of flowers do you have in your garden and what type of garden do you have do you have a balcony garden or a patio garden or a backyard garden like I have right here so anyways let me go ahead and get started in today's video Okay, everyone so this is some blue days and salvia that I got at Lowe's um, I got this where the plants are usually 50% off so I'm very happy that I got these beautiful uh, plants here again blue days and some salvia that I got at Lowe's okay everyone so i wanted to give a rose tour so this is a mini rose tour i'm going to be doing it throughout the video i'm going to be inserting some pictures this is of course um one section of the rose garden which is absolutely gorgeous as you can see the roses are looking healthy and they are looking very healthy and there's not that much black spot now this was filmed late spring early summer so um, you know the roses did look healthy at that time 
and the first rose that I want to share is this one this one is Princess Charlemagne of Monaco it's an absolutely gorgeous rose and it's gorgeous and floral arrangements it makes a beautiful um, just an arrangement by itself with just a single rose it's just absolutely gorgeous and is one of my healthiest roses in the garden now I do also have another rose uh, right next to it which is spirit of freedom and I'm sorry if you hear my doggie in the background she is snoring so anyways um, so I do have spirit of freedom here which is a climber and it is a David Austin rose and it is just gorgeous and it is growing there's new shoots um, as you can see and right now it has put on some new canes and it is just looking absolutely gorgeous as well so again um, this is the time when the roses look the healthiest in my garden right now because of the rain that has been falling every single night almost and because of the heat um, the rose blooms are really small and then also I do have black spot I have mentioned that throughout the video that I do have black spot and there is a product that I am using it's a fertilizer that I am using to kind of help with the black spot and if I did not use this product I think I would have more issues with black spot I do have a little bit of black spot right now but if I did not use this product it would have gotten worse but I am going to be talking about the product later in the video but I just want you to admire the beauty of just the roses and um, the blooms and I'm just really happy Okay, everyone so I wanted to share um, some statues that I have in my garden a few of them this is one of them now this statue uh, is a statue that my aunt gave me as a gift to put in my garden and I just think it just looks so beautiful it really looks elegant and it really adds that English garden look that I was looking for um, in my rose garden and I just think it looks so pretty now there was another statue there but I decided to move that statue um, to another part of the garden and I wanted to put this one under the arbor and I just think it just looks so beautiful and so elegant and of course um, I am gonna be sharing a view of one of my favorite climbing roses which is spirit of freedom and spirit of freedom is just absolutely gorgeous and here it is i just love this rose now as you can see i do have some black spot like i have mentioned and i'm going to be talking about it throughout the video 
um, because it has been raining every single day so um, of course you know the roses they still look healthy but there is a few black spot on the roses now here is Claire Austin and Claire Austin is also a climber and Claire Austin um, when it first starts to bud the color of the buds is usually um, a lemon yellow and then the blooms turn into this creamy white and it just looks so pretty now I also have some buds of Earth Angel as you can see there there's lots of buds on Earth Angel and here is Princess Charlemagne and I also have more of Spirit of Freedom so this is one rose the spirit of freedom and as you can see it is climbing and I just love it is one of my favorite roses and of course all of my roses are my favorite but I just love this climbing rose if you're looking for a climbing rose this is it to add to your garden now moving along to the garden statues the other garden statues so I did do a video on these two statues that my mom and I got for free yes you heard me correctly okay we got these for free they were in the neighborhood you know I was just passing by in the neighborhood and um, they were out by the sidewalk and there was a sign that says free and I just grabbed them I didn't hesitate I did not look right or left I just grabbed them and I told my mom we are going to be adding these to the garden now it looked like they were fountains but guess what they are garden statues right now so I just love them I just think they are just beautiful and you're going to see what my mom and I did to these statues so they can kind of tie in with the other statues that we have in our garden and again it kind of gives that English garden look um, and I absolutely adore these statues and yes we got them for free there's an extra one uh, that we also got for free the same area um, the same house um, the next following day there was another statue so I'm gonna be sharing uh, that statue as well <music> So as you can see, um, I gave a little bit of a tour um, as far as um, what type of flowers that I have in my garden right now. I am going to be doing another video sharing with you what type of roses um, I'm going to be adding um, into the rose garden. I am going to be adding more roses and I'm also going to be doing this side of the garden, which is going to be like a mini rose garden. Um, I might just put roses in containers in this side of the garden but of course the rose garden that I just shared with all of you is on this side right here and like I have mentioned I have been getting black spot um, and the reason why I have been getting the black spot is because it has been raining every afternoon there has been thunderstorms um, storms um, every evening I would say it starts around 6 7 o'clock and then it goes all the way into the night 
so of course the roses their leaves don't have enough time for them to dry off with the water that actually fall on the leaves on the roses on the rose leaf itself and then it develops black spot so one of the ways that I combat the black spot and the rest of the diseases in the insects in my garden is using this so this is one of the fertilizers I use and I wanted to share with all of you um, if you happen to have roses in uh, your backyard this is what I use particularly if you live in a place that is really humid I would highly recommend this um, it is the bio advanced all-in-one rose and flower care it is the three systematic product in one it is a fertilizer it is um, an insect control and it is disease control and I love to use this on my roses and also on my other flowers as well and I absolutely love this and what I do is I just take it and I sprinkle I'm gonna go ahead and share with you how it looks like okay so as you can see it's like a granular type of form and I just sprinkle this in the base of my uh, roses and not only it fertilizes the roses but it also protects them from insect and from disease now um, I know that there's a lot of people that garden organically um, I do somewhat organic gardening but of course where I live lots of humidity and so I have to use this for me to combat the black spot because the black spot is basically uh, really bad um, in my area especially with the roses and so I have to use this for me to combat the black spot but I would highly recommend this now if you do um, garden organically there's neem oil and there's other products that you can use organically to protect your roses from insect and disease but again I highly recommend this and again if you don't want to use this that is fine um, you know every gardener is different I don't mind using this in my garden um, but of course I use this and it has really been protecting my garden and one of the things that I do want to mention is um, if you are an organic gardener and you don't want to use this that is fine but like I have mentioned I highly recommend this if you live in a place that's really really humid and you have tried everything and the black spot keeps on coming back the insects keep on coming back I highly recommend this because um, I know that there's some good and bad opinions on this but like I've mentioned I use it in my garden just to protect my roses and to protect my flowers from disease and from insect so here it is so this is what I use I do use also the fish uh, fertilizer and I'm gonna insert a picture of it and I also use rose um, rose tone as well um, as an organic fertilizer but of course this is a fertilizer that I use around this time of the year because of the rain because of the thunderstorms that we have almost every night it really really protect my roses from getting worse I already have a little bit of black spot but I think if I did not put this on my roses the black spot would have been even worse so again I highly recommend this Okay, everyone so this is the beginning of the rose garden um, of course it's not done yet this is only the beginning and um, it is looking 
okay you know so like i've mentioned my mom and i we are working on it and of course this is the arbor that we have put um i am planning to put um eden rose going all around the arbor here and then of course um, my mom and i have decided to put these um wooden pillars here just to secure the arbor and then also um, i am planning to attach like a hook here um, to have like uh hanging plants like hanging uh roses or not roses hanging um plants like petunias hanging on the edge here so that is my plan for this section towards the end here and um and so yeah i wanted to add eden all here now i do have two edens here i have one here and i have one on this side and i'm planning to get two more edens because i really want it to look very lush and very full okay everyone so here is the garden here's a butterfly that's just passing by it looks so pretty <laughs> um so here is the garden um this is this side of course where i have the roses um and of course i have the chairs kind of lined up here and then i'm gonna go ahead and spray that thing right here i'm gonna my mom is gonna spray it and we are gonna put it against the fence to create like a beautiful uh design on the fence but of course here are the roses on this angle right here i have some of the statues and there is a statue that i want to share with all of you that my auntie got for me that i just love now of course the roses are looking a little bit messy right now <laughs> so um oh there's a bumblebee that just passed by okay <laughs> lots and lots as you can see here are the roses now i am going to be putting an arbor um in this area right here to control the roses and i am going to be putting an obelisk a few obelisk um with the climbers and as you can see, there is some new growth with the climbers, as you can see. So, yeah, so I need to deadhead and I need to really control all of the climber, the climbing roses. But I wanted to share this beautiful um, statue that my auntie got me. so i am using this velcro um it's like a twine velcro velcro twine i guess um that i got from lowe's and i am going to be cutting a piece so i already have cut a piece to secure joseph's coat which is this beautiful climber that i have right here and i am going to secure this climber right here now this climber is from um proven winners i think it is called lilac days i'm gonna go ahead and put the name of it somewhere in the bottom here so you can see and I'm going to insert a picture of it. It is gorgeous. It is a beautiful climber. And of course, um, this is Joseph's coat. And so they're both just going to go ahead and climb up. They're in a pot and I want them to kind of cl climb up and fill the arbor here. It's just going to look so beautiful. okay and i think the both of them are secure so the both of them look pretty good um they are secure and i think they look good um i could you know once joseph coats get a little bit longer i'm gonna secure it in the middle but for now i just kind of put it on the edge there 